This is a Disneyland original little long playing record, and I am your story reader. I am going to begin now to read the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A great big father bear, a middle-sized mother bear, and a little baby bear. The father bear, the mother bear, and the baby bear all lived in a log cabin deep in the forest on the side of a mountain. One morning, mother bear cooked a kettle of porridge for breakfast. She filled a great big bowl for Father Bear, a middle-sized bowl for herself, and a little bowl for Baby Bear. Then all the bears went for a walk in the forest to wait for the porridge to cool. Soon after the bears left, a little girl named Goldilocks found the cabin in the woods. She was a pretty girl with long blonde hair. She had wandered a long way into the forest, and she was very tired. Goldilocks knocked on the door of the cabin. There was no answer. She tried the latch. The door opened, and she went in. Inside the cabin, she saw three wooden chairs and a long table set for breakfast. She went over and sat in the father bear's chair. But it was much too hard. Then she sat down in the mother bear's chair. It was much too soft. At last, she sat down in the baby bear's chair. It was not too hard and not too soft. But it was too small, and it broke all to pieces. Then Goldilocks saw the porridge cooling in the bowls, and she was very hungry. So she tried the father bear's bowl. It was much too hot. Then she tried the mother bear's bowl. It was much too cold. She tried the baby bear's bowl. It was not too cold, and it was not too hot. It was just right. So she ate it all up. By this time, Goldilocks was very, very tired and wanted to take a nap. She looked around the cabin for a place to lie down. Upstairs, she found three beds. There was a great big bed for the father bear, a middle-sized bed for the mother bear, and a tiny little bed for the baby bear. She tried the father bear's bed, but it was much too hard. She tried the mother bear's bed. It was much too soft. Then she tried the baby bear's bed. It was just right. And Goldilocks lay down and fell fast asleep. A little while later, the three bears came home. They were surprised to find the door to their cabin open, so they hurried inside. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said the father bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said the mother bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said the baby bear. And it's broken all to pieces. Then the bears looked at the bowls on the table. Someone has been tasting my porridge, said the father bear. Someone has been tasting my porridge, said the mother bear. Someone has been tasting my porridge, said the baby bear. 
and it's all gone. The three bears all went upstairs. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said the father bear. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said the mother bear. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said the baby bear. And here she is. Right then and there, Goldilocks woke up. She looked up at the great big father bear, the middle-sized mother bear, and the tiny little baby bear. Oh, she said. Oh! And she jumped out of the bed. Then she ran down the stairs, out of the cabin, and right straight home just as fast as she could. And she never, never went into the pine forest again. <laughs>